Hello and welcome to Sandbox Creations. There are a lot of myths and misconceptions around the world that most people believe is the truth. So, I have decided to make some videos to debunk the more popular myths, in a video series called Shattering the Myths. In today's video, I am going to shatter 5 famous myths regarding Mozart. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart born in Salzburg on 27 January 1756 and was a prolific and influential composer of the classical period an era of classical music between roughly 1730 and 1820. He showed prodigious ability from his earliest childhood. Already competent on keyboard and violin, he composed from the age of five and performed before European royalty. At the age of 17, Mozart was engaged as a musician at the Salzburg court but grew restless and traveled in search of a better position. While visiting Vienna in 1781, he was dismissed from his Salzburg position. He chose to stay in the capital, where he achieved fame but little financial security. During his final years in Vienna, he composed many of his best-known symphonies, concertos, and operas, and portions of the Requiem, which was largely unfinished at the time of his early death in 5 December 1791, at the age of 35. He composed more than 600 works, many of which are acknowledged as pinnacles of symphonic, concertant, chamber, operatic, and choral music. He is among the greatest and most enduringly popular of classical composers, and his influence is profound on subsequent Western art music. Ludwig van Beethoven composed his early works in the shadow of Mozart. The following are the most common misconceptions regarding Mozart and I'll explain why it's wrong after stating the misconception. Number 1. Mozart was an Austrian. Contrary to popular belief, Mozart was not Austrian. During his lifetime, Salzburg was not part of the Archduchy of Austria, but an essentially sovereign state called the Prince Archbishopric of Salzburg. Salzburg was later annexed to the Austrian Empire in 1805, 14 years after Mozart's death. Furthermore, the word Austrian during Mozart's time referred to either the aforementioned Archduchy of Austria, the Austrian Circle, or the Habsburg Monarchy, neither of which included Salzburg, which was part of the Bavarian Circle. Number 2. Mozart composed the melody used in Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star when he was five years old. The melody used in Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, the alphabet song, and Ba, Ba, Black Sheep, was not composed by Mozart when he was five years old, it was already a popular French folk tune which existed decades before Mozart composed a series of variations on the tune, when he was 25 or 26. Number 3, ever since the death of Mozart, it has been rumored that the composer was poisoned by his colleague Antonio Salieri. Salieri, five and a half years Mozart's senior, certainly knew the younger composer while they both were writing music in late 18th century Vienna. However, the charge that the wildly successful Salieri was so threatened by the less established Mozart that he killed his rival is pretty baseless. In fact, Mozart accepted commissions such as the operas Così fan tutte and La Clemenza di Tito that Salieri had originally turned down. This myth came about because towards the end of his life, Mozart was paranoid that he was being poisoned by a circle of Italians. Moreover, the signs of illness Mozart displayed did not indicate poisoning. Another contributing factor to the survival of this popular misconception is the highly celebrated 1984 film Amadeus, in which Salieri claims he killed Mozart. Number 4. Mozart struggled financially and died a pauper. This myth stems from the fact that Mozart was buried in an unmarked grave. During their lifetimes, the Mozarts spent beyond their means, but the couple lived in relative comfort. Mozart's unceremonious funeral was due to an edict from Emperor Joseph II, who tried, somewhat unsuccessfully, to simplify burials within Austria. This has led people to assume that Mozart's body was dumped into a mass grave, rather than deposited into a common grave, which was the convention for non-royal subjects of the time. Number 5. Listening to Mozart makes you smarter. 
This myth is probably one of the reasons that many people have heard about Mozart. In 1993, a psychologist found that students who listened to 10 minutes of Mozart temporarily improved their performances on a spatial reasoning test. Somehow the findings exploded into claims that listening to Mozart made you smarter. All of a sudden the Jupiter Symphony was being prescribed for anyone wanting to increase his or her IQ. Mothers bought CDs with Ina Kleine Nachtmusik and the Magic Flute for their toddlers. The correlation between Mozart's music and general intelligence has since been debunked. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications.